Okay, so this video is going to just be an update on my multi-copter as well as a review on this DYS three-axis gimbal. And I've designed some 3D printed parts that I think, at least for myself, really upgrade uh, this DYS three-axis gimbal in usability. Uh, the DYS three-axis gimbal comes with a metal cover plate. And let me uh, zoom in here. You can see this little uh, hole back here, it takes a uh, bolt and you actually bolt that cover plate on and it becomes a real pain to remove your GoPro quickly. And I was using a rubber band to hold it and I was never really happy with that. So now I've come up with this 3D printed cover plate as well as a lens cap. I'll put the links to this uh, over at laserhacker.com as well as a link to the gimbal. Uh, it's sold all over the place for under 200 bucks. Rock solid gimbal. So I'll go over a few of the features of the gimbal as well as upload a video that I shot using this gimbal and the video is unstabilized. It's raw footage directly off the GoPro. Okay, so let's take the pieces here and see how this goes. You've got the uh, cover plate that actually holds it to the DYS uh, three-axis gimbal and it goes on there like that. The lens cap cover just press fits on over that and it holds very securely and you can remove it uh, for flight. So. I looked at the other lens cap uh, covers. I printed a few of them off Thingiverse. I was not really happy with them, so I designed this one. You'll find links to both these parts over in Thingiverse, but once you get this assembled like that, all you need to put it on the uh, three axis gimbal is to line it up over here like this, stretch the top and bottom portions out like that, and then just press it into place. These clip over front and back, and that locks on the GoPro. Okay, so it snaps on like that, provides a good secure fit, holds the GoPro on quite securely. It's much better than the rubber band I had been using and it's much faster than the uh, little bolts and that permanent mount setup that they did. To remove it, you just lightly lift the uh, clips on both sides and remove your GoPro. So this is a major upgrade I feel to this system and I uh, just wanted to share it with everybody. And now let's go ahead and I'll power it up and show you the stability of the gimbal. Okay, so I just want to show the range of angle here. So you can fly with this angle. This is kind of my default angle here. And on the back of my radio, I have a switch that I can grab with my thumb that I can uh, move up or down. You can hear it's centered right now. Now, I went ahead, there was a little uh, catch in here that kind of made this move in degrees. So it kind of snapped up and down. That was too restrictive for me. So I opened the radio and removed that. Now I can move this up and down very smooth, very free. And you can see as I moved it quickly, the camera just held stable and that's because it's really smoothed out. So if I move it down, you'll see the camera smoothly, smoothly rotates down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and test out the gimbal here. Now looking down at the camera, you can see that it's a three axis gimbal. My previous gimbals only stabilized on two axis, but this is a full three axis gimbal. So it does stabilize the camera against this sort of motion. Now in addition to that, because it is a three axis gimbal, it stabilizes on every other axis. So you can see here that that camera is just super stable. And uh, you can do super quick movements and your camera will just stay locked in. So I really love that about it. Let me come in here and I'll show you some of the uh, design on the gimbal itself. The wiring is run inside these uh, metal arms. So it presents a very clean setup. There's not a lot of loose wiring running around. Uh, everything is quite clean. Very, very solid. And uh, just really am in love with this gimbal. So right now it's kind of hard to see, but I'm rotating the, uh, the whole multi-copter almost over completely. Very, very stable. So anyway, that's the DYS 3-axis gimbal. Hope you enjoy the, uh, the test footage.